Say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon. Next year. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Ah, yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. 
Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. <laughs> Dr. Travelsnitch was right about me. I would just die compared to anything my body would save. I suppose I'd better beat you. You'll have to come to the office. You're getting awfully up. You can run, but you can't hide. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Why are boys so confusing? I just don't get them. I wish I could do something wild and young man go change immediately ah oh, come on hey you're the new kid yeah what's it to you friendly aren't you give me a break loser hey relax friend you're all pent up go easy or they put you on medication they did to me boy nearly sent me insane that's fascinating now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? We don't have a bar in the dorm, just a soda machine. Why don't you prove yourself to someone who cares? Word up, 
Probably so change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Now everybody oh. hates you. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me? Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. show you around this I heard the be there. That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Vocal cord out! Oh, please. Your money. All of it! I'm no threat to you. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Kneel before Russell! <laughs> Next time you get more doofus! Come on! Let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. <laughs> Don't let the prefects see you break any rules. They'll hurt you. Blaster! Tard! 
Come on, psycho! This way! Oh man! There's that weird chick Eunice. Let's have some fun with her. Go! See what she wants. Hey, you. <laughs> she took my chocolate. Please get it back. I wonder if I can skip this. <laughs> Don't push me. Russell sure has great delts. Jump! I don't want any trouble, okay? Does that make you feel big and strong? Watch it! Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. <laughs> Pay attention! <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? Oh my! James, keep your mind on what you're doing! Good job! Keep paying attention. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Good work! You have a future in chemistry. You may have a future ahead of you, young man. 
You better be taking notes. I should teach lessons or something. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense! That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Ow! <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> Salutation. I, just, so, I just hate you! I saw him. He ran towards the film. I'll oh, get him here!
That's that nonsense dealt with. I heard that Chris Polk was back on campus. Maybe he was gonna see that. Do I bring you down? Ah, hello, class. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Why do you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time. one I'm afraid that's not English I'm afraid that's too short I don't think that's in the dictionary Well done. Good show. Try again, James. That has to be some sort of slang, yes? Try again, James. Try again, James. Oh, don't worry, James. Failure is just a natural consequence of trying.
So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, all right, sure, I'll do it. <clears throat> hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? 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 What the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey? You were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing. No, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude. Chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend. Nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. Jimmy, this way. Fight me, Dewey. The authorities are here. Slingshot. That's not a bad shot. All right. You do have some talent. Come on, let's go down to the football field. sweat.